Hi, I'm Kerry Grinkmeyer. I'm the host of Best of Us Investors. I'm a retired financial advisor. I read constantly because I want to learn and educate myself. And I know as a result of that, that makes me a one percenter. There's only one percent of the people in the world who continue to educate themselves after they graduate from their level of education. What I'm going to tell you today is going to put you in a category of where you know something that 99.9% .9 of the people in the world don't know. And as a result of what I'm going to tell you, you could probably, you probably will, if you take action on it, become an investment millionaire. This is possibly the most important thing that you're going to learn in 2022. And I'm going to share it with you, share it with you openly. And as you conceive it and you, you process it, you're going to learn something that is going to just change your outlook on life. Let's start with this premise. What is the most important commodity that you consume on a daily basis that basically is more important to you than anything else in the world. Now, I asked Nita, my wife, that, and she thought for a while, and she said, I guess water and food. I said, no, with what I'm going to tell you, you would not consume water and you would not be able to consume food. She said, so what are you talking about? I said, oxygen. Oxygen is the most important commodity that you consume on a daily basis and it keeps you alive. And it's given to you by nature. Nature gives you oxygen. I'm not sure of the whole process. It has something to do with trees and whatever, but that's the most important commodity that you consume. What if I told you, and it's free, by the way, it's free, okay? What if I told you that 10% of your household budget is spent on energy, that is on electricity, gasoline, natural gas, propane gas, energy. What if I told you you could get all the energy you want and you can consume free? That's what this video is about. That's about what's, it's, it's about what's about to happen in the world you live in and how you can profit from it. How if you understand what I'm about to tell you and how it's going to affect our world and how it's going to totally reset our world and eliminate the debt of our world so that we reset our economies. You've heard that word before, reset. I'm gonna to explain to you in this video how it's going to happen, but equally as important, I'm going to explain to you how you can profit off of it, okay? It has to do with why you're getting beat up on the stock market right now. It's that word, inflation, interest rates, volatility, fear, it has to do with why, if you bought get Bitcoin at $65,000 a share, you're kicking yourself right now. Don't worry about it. I'm going to tell you how it's going to take care of itself. Now, this is not financial advice. Do not consider this financial advice. This is just an old man sharing his knowledge with you. Where'd he get it? Well, he's been alive 77 years and he reads constantly. That's two advantages I have over you. We'll talk more about that right after I do this. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. Think of this. Gasoline. You use a lot of gasoline. You put it into your car, right? Where's that come from? It comes from oil, it comes from oil, right? Is oil an efficient product? No, not at all. Uh, from the gasoline, you gotta pay for that 
that uh, pump that puts it in there. You got to pay for the, the guy who sits in the booth over there to make sure if you want to buy some cigarettes or some Coca-Cola, he's there. You got to pay for that. That's built into the price, as is the truck that delivered it and the truck driver. And then, and then you got to pay for the refining and you got to pay for getting it out of the ground. And, and you've got to pay for all the years it takes to get to, to become oil. Well, how does it become oil? Well, it, be, it becomes oil as things rot, as animals rot, as people rot, as, as grass and trees and rot. And it, over thousands of years, it cr creates oil. None of that is efficient. None of it is efficient. But wait, let's step up further back. Where does the plant and the animal that decays, that creates the oil, that comes to the gas, that employs the, the, the truck driver, employs the girl in the booth, where's all that come from? It comes from the sun. It comes from the sun, yeah, because the sun makes the animals grow, makes the plants grow. They eat, you, you know the cycle. It comes from the sun. So that gasoline, that electricity, that natural gas, that propane gas all comes from the sun. Well, what if we eliminate everything between the sun and the pump? What if we eliminate all that? Well, the only way you can do that is fill my roof with solar panels. Wait a second. What if, what if through technology, I could reduce that solar panel to something the size of a garbage can lid? You know, like the, 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 the dish you have on your roof to get your TV. What if I could create a dish on your TV that took the sun's rays and, and magnified their intensity such that it, it, it took, created enough energy that went through a wire and went into a box sitting in your garage the size of a refrigerator and captured that energy. And then you could plug into it to run your furnace, to run your air conditioner, to turn your lights on, to make your TV run. You could even turn, plug your car into it and have no additional cost for energy. What if you could pay $3,000 once and you could have the ener all the energy you needed for the rest of your life? That's almost as good as the deal you made for oxygen. You got all the oxygen you need to live for the rest of your life for free. What if we could do that? What if we could eliminate that 10% of your monthly budget and you could do whatever you want with it? What would be the first thing you'd do with it? I hope you'd pay off your debt. What, what, what would the nation do for it? We have, a, we have a debt approaching $30 trillion. What if nobody had to pay for energy and everybody agreed to give 10% of their savings to pay off our national debt. Call it a tax. That's a nice word. Call it a tax. How fast could we get rid of national debt? Is that called a reset? That's called a reset. That's what's going to happen. How is that going to happen, Carrie? Artificial intelligence, machine learning, general intelligence. The computer technology is going to teach us how to take that solar panel that's going to cover fields and bring it down to a garbage can lid for each one of us that we can buy on Amazon for what? $300? And then we can buy that refrigerator that in the basement that captures it for another $1,000? And it's there for our life? That's the reset. Now, what if, in addition to that, through technology, we took disease out of our bodies? Do you know that you spend 20% of your monthly budget on health care? Did you know that? 20%. So between energy and health care, genome sequencing, genome editing, we take disease out of your body. If we did that, how much could you save? And, and, and if you agreed to take 
10%, 20% of all your savings and help pay down the national debt, we could reset. So these things you're worried about today, inflation, uh, increasing interest rates, if, if, if you pay down the debt, what are interest rates? If, if you go to the, because of your savings on your health care and your energy, you go to the bank and say, here, here, I'm paying off my mortgage. Here, I'm paying off my car loan, my, my, my student loans. I'm paying off all my debt. What are interest rates going to be from that point on? If everybody pays off their debt, the, the, the bank is going to beg you to take their money. Go oh, buy something on credit, please buy some. No, I don't need anything on credit because I pay exactly the same for my health care and my energy and my oxygen because nature takes care of it for me. All the disease has been taken from my body. Pharmaceuticals now take away my Alzheimer's, my Parkinson's my dementia, my cancer. That's the reset. That's the reset everybody's been talking about that didn't know how it was going to happen. Now they thought, uh, Elizabeth Warren thought the reset was that we are just going to forgive debt. We're just, everybody's going to re forgive debt. No, Elizabeth, that's not what's going to happen. We are going to cut the cost of living as a result of the medical revolution and the energy revolution so that the debt will disappear. Now, I know this is crazy. I know this is crazy. But the next step is, what if we eliminated all the evil from the world? Huh? What if we did that? That's what the next video is going to be about how that's going to happen, how we can become a peaceful society by just making some alterations in how we're living today. And how is that going to happen? That's going to happen through technology. If you don't remember anything else, technology is deflationary. Debt is inflationary. If you can eliminate debt, you can eliminate inflation. Because at that point, everything becomes so affordable that you don't have to borrow any money for it. Now, it creates some other issues. What is that? Well, if you're not going to have a gas station, what's that guy going to do who sits in that little booth and sells you cigarettes? We well, may have a booth for cigarettes or in Coca-Cola. I don't know. What about the truck driver who delivers the what about the trucking company who delivers the gasoline? Okay, we had that same problem back in the early 1800s when they created the, what was it, the loom that put the stitching people out of work. Well, we took care of that. We created jobs. I'm not worried about that because that's not my game. My game is investments. My game is looking through the windshield of life and saying, what's coming down the road? I'm not interested in what's right in front of the car and what's happening today. That couldn't, I couldn't care less about that. I'm invested in Google, Amazon, Microsoft, Facebook, NVIDIA. I'm invested in them. They're going to be a part of this. I don't know exactly how, but they're going to be a part of that. Well, why are they going to be a part of it, Gary? Because they got all the money. They got all the talent. They got all the experience. What was it? I heard Tim Cook makes a made $100 million last year. Somebody said, well, that'll create socialism and, and, and communism. Tim still comes to work. So does Jeff. Jeff's just working on a little something different. No, our world is headed in such a positive direction because we're going to take all those things that you want that I have out of the equation because you're going to have them anyway. That's what's happening. That's the world we're going to live in. And this is the most important video you will ever hear in your life. Now, the reality is I've learned that from reading. You don't read.
okay? But what I just shared with you, you will share with someone else. And as a result of that, you will educate someone else to what is going to happen in the world. And all that will do is speed up the process. That's the beauty of this internet. You know, it, it, this costs $30, which a lot of people won't spend to learn about genome sequence and genome editing. It costs $30. Most people won't end it. And then even more importantly, it takes about a month to read it. And so it doesn't happen. But as a result of the internet and as a result of YouTube, I've educated you on these things. So you didn't have to invest the $30 and you didn't have to invest the month. So this knowledge is going to spread as I share it with you and you share it with your brother-in-law and your sister-in-law and, and your children. And it's going to happen so much faster just because I shared it with you today. Thank you very much. That's what the world is coming to be all about. All you got to do is wake up to it and get away from the fact that you're taking a beating on the stock market right now. And the reason you are is they don't know about this. They don't know. If you ask every damn one of them, what's the most important commodity that you consume today? They're, they're going to look at you and say, well, food, maybe, maybe water. No, it's oxygen. It's oxygen. Because without the oxygen, you can't consume any of their other stuff. And that's what the world is waking up to. We can cure the problems we created. Adam and Eve did not have exposure to cancer. That was created over the eons of the human development. If we can take that out, that's deflationary. That pays off debt. That resets the world. That makes this a more peaceful place. If I can, through genome sequencing, take the anger out of your body, we eliminate the crime rate. We, we eliminate terrorism. If, if, if I can alter you, through genome sequencing and take the bad out, whether it's disease, attitude, whatever, I can make a better world. And that's what's about to happen. And remember where you heard it first. And remember where you can learn more about it. Subscribe. It's not a big favor. Give me a like. And then come join our tribe where we talk even more of this nonsense. You'll never hear this anywhere else. Because there's not another 77-year-old sharing his knowledge and his wisdom on YouTube. But if you'll tell three people what you learned today, and they tell three people, and they, in, in this book I'm reading, they talk about, if I could give you a million dollars, I think that's the, that's the uh, 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 or I could give you a penny a day, and double the amount of pennies I give you each, each day for the next 30 days. Which did you want? Think about it. Talk to you again tomorrow.